Have you seen this movie? No. What about this one? No. You must have seen this one. Surprisingly, no. Boom! A channel is born. We've been doing this for almost three years here on Retro Rebound, and we've learned a lot of things, like don't talk bad about Final Fantasy X, or spend your money on the highest of quality that GameStop has to offer. One thing we also learned was that a corner of the internet does indeed want to enjoy video games. Retro Rebound is the culmination of 10 years of buildup. Like seriously, over on Mr. Matty Place, my first YouTube channel, we did a series called Nostalgia Trip when I was in high school, and it was there that my fondness of the past was born. We're here because you supported me for all those years, through high school, college, my young adulthood, and now, because of all that you've invested in me, we're going to take that to the next major step for Retro Rebound. And this time, we're gonna do it together. A usual week of Retro Rebound looks something like this. Two videos a week typically synchronized with something happening in pop culture. Whether it be remembering the Raimi Spider-Man games video we did when Spider-Man No Way Home was releasing, or replaying Final Fantasy X the week that 16 comes out, this has always been the way Retro Rebound operates. We're still gonna do that always, but now it's time for some new wrinkles and even some new voices, including yours. For starters, we're increasing our upload count to three times per week here on Retro Rebound. And the person who's making that possible is the same one who makes this channel in general possible, and that's Lockmort. Lock just posted his first ever video here on Retro Rebound. You may recognize him from his life and death of LucasArts games video. Okay, so say you haven't seen him here on Retro Rebound, then maybe you've actually seen him over on Last Stand Media where he's bringing high quality conversations into the mix over there. Nintendo games are for pedophiles. In all seriousness, my vision for Retro Rebound has always been beyond myself. It's always been about bringing together people to a place to celebrate video games. Unless you're Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash, fuck that game. This third video per week will typically be handled by Lockmort, where he's gonna bring his own twist in on gaming retrospective content. There's also gonna be some weeks all three videos are me. It's gonna be structured, but have the fluidity to adjust to things happening within gaming culture, within pop culture, which is going to be pretty often if Retro Rebound taught us anything. But then there's you. You. Your voices are what drive this content through your recommendations, your corrections, your pure sharing of nostalgia. The community has grown and now we're gonna pull it all together in one place. You, my lovely friends, are gonna be able to vote on games we play for the first time here on Retro Rebound, submit inquiries that'll be included in the video of those games we play, you'll be featured in the credits of the videos, and we're going to do all of this through Patreon with the Retro Revival. We know there's a million subscription services, every creator has a Patreon, and your time and money are incredibly valuable. That's why our focus here is that everything new there is designed to be supplementary and not bleed your pockets dry. But I get it, seeing is believing, right? And that's why the upload count that we mentioned earlier going up to three might just be doubling if you're into something a little different. This one. No. This one. Absolutely not. Have your eyes laid upon this one. No, they have not. Yep, that's me. And you're probably wondering how I managed to avoid such cultural enlightenment for the entirety of my life. Well, that's because I like video games, duh. I mean, I always viewed them as the dominant form of entertainment, even if I had nothing to really back that up. But yeah, I mean, if you asked me if I've seen any movie, and I do literally mean almost any movie, the answer is quite possibly no. So to correct that, our retro family grows to two with the introduction of Retro Rewind, a new YouTube channel created with the same spirit that has fostered Retro Rebound. So what is Retro Rewind exactly? Let's go back to the core. Retro Rebound was built with one slogan in mind, nostalgia with a blend of modernism. So what guides Retro Rewind? Classics flavored by inexperience. This is evergreen style content following the same principles we always will. High production value, carefully crafted, thoughtful conversations driven by memories of old and creating new ones together. If some of the games that we've played on Retro Rebound have shown you anything, it's that there's a lot that I haven't experienced in this life thus far, and that goes doubly so for movies. So here's how we're gonna go about addressing those weaknesses. Retro Rewind will feature three shows per week. The first one I wanna tell you about is Call Sheet, which goes live every Thursday. This show was born by looking at the top 100 movies on IMDb. I have only seen four. 
Once per week, we're going to provide you a list of movies for me to watch for the first time, and you're going to go ahead and vote on them over on Patreon.com slash Retro Revive, and the first vote is available right now. After I watch that movie for the first time, I'll give my thoughts, answer your submitted questions, and rank the movie across 100 spots. Joining me will be Lockmore again to help me not only organize things, but also to keep a level of expertise to the show that I'm certainly not capable of when it comes to movies. Die Hard is for pedophiles. That's because the entire point is to keep me as oblivious as possible. So Locke is going to gather your questions in advance so I can go in completely blind to classics like Interstellar, The Django Unchained, Die Hard, Pulp Fiction, The Godfather, and so many more. Our next show is Watch Party, which airs every Saturday. TV shows have also historically been a weak spot of mine, and so in order to correct that, we'll be discussing those together. Beginning with Fallout, we're going to be reviewing season one when it releases this Wednesday. Thanks, Prime. After that, we're going to watch shows like Knuckles, The Boy Season 4, House of the Dragon Season 2, The Acolyte, The Penguin, and many more. These will be recorded immediately after the episode finishes airing and uploaded within 24 hours. And just like with Retro Rebound, we'll discuss the earlier seasons the week ahead of the new one launching. There's also one other thing that we'll be including. And that's anime. Wait, what? It's going to be no. a massive part we of didn't Retro agree Rewind. To this. And that's because Maddie, it's a massive job part of Retro Rebound. I will you see, sue you, dude. I'm I will not the only one you. here lacking cultural enlightenment. What are you talking Mock about? happens to have some thoughts yeah. on anime. Yeah, I have some thoughts. We're not going to do it, dude. There will be no weebery on this channel. I can promise you that. Last, but certainly not least, is Retro Alliance, which goes live every Tuesday. Hey, what day of the week is it, by the way? This is where Retro Rebound and Retro Rewind come together. As I mentioned earlier, we like to synchronize things with pop culture, like when we did remembering the prequel Star Wars games for when Obi-Wan, the TV show, had come out on Disney+. Plus. So this is the show where I can rewatch something like, I don't know, Raimi's Spider-Man 1, and then go ahead over on Retro Rebound and talk about a Spider-Man game over there. Oh, would you... <laughs> funny, would you look at that? We, we just did a Spider-Man video recently, didn't we? Retro Rewind isn't something you have to wait for to find out what it's all about. It's up right now with me talking about, yes, Raimi's Spider-Man 1 from its most hilarious moments down to the DVD complete and box experience. In the weeks to come, I'll be talking about Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man 3 in order to rank all of the Raimi Spider-Man movies. You're still with me, right? Good, because we're not done yet. A Patreon-exclusive bonus Retro Rebound show is coming your way called Memory Card. It's a weekly bite-sized gaming chat between myself and Locke where we randomly select a game and shoot the breeze on bygone times. We'll be starting with Fallout 3 this Sunday. We're also providing three-day early access to the show Retro Alliance and its Retro Rebound counterpart. Discord is going to be available finally to gather, trade stories, and discuss games, movies, TV, and anime as a community. A monthly Q&A series is being produced with myself called Sticker Removal Saturday, where I'm going to finally remove those pesky stickers from my game boxes, and I'm going to answer your burning questions while I do it. And all of this is going to be available in video here on YouTube, as well as in audio on Patreon, Spotify, and other audio platforms. So at the end of the road here, you have four pieces of Retro Rebound content coming your way in three videos per week now, two including me, one typically including Locke, and those are going to go live on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with the bonus show, Memory Card, going live on Sundays. Then on Retro Rewind, you're going to get three videos a week there too, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Tuesday will be Retro Alliance, Thursday will be Call Sheet, and Saturday will be Watch Party. By combining both channels on Patreon, we can focus on what matters most. You. Just to be crystal clear in case there's any doubt, this isn't a side project, this isn't a side venture, this is us going all in on this community. We literally cannot do this without you, and through your support, we can continue to concentrate on creativity and less on viewership. We're going to continue growing Retro Rebound. We're going to do the exact same thing with Retro Rewind. We're going to continue to invest in you. And hopefully, you'll find it worth investing in us. And anime. Mother